Hi, everybody, and welcome to Faces in the Field. I'm Adam Derangowski. I work with the communications department here at Miller Pipeline. Faces in the Field is where we highlight one of our team members making it happen out in the field for us. Today, that team member is Terry Wilson. He's a foreman from Mississippi. Terry, thanks for coming on with us today. Glad to be here. Thank you well, for, for having me. Well, we're happy to have you. First of all, let's just start with your your background. How did you get into the natural gas construction industry and what brought you to Miller Pipeline? Well, I started, it's been a long time. I started in uh, Memphis with uh, Memphis Light Gas and Water, doing the same kind of work. And one of my cousins, Larry Moore, he uh, got me into it. He wanted me to come try it. He said, you'll like it. And so I got into it. I tried it. Then I took a break after six years working in Memphis, working for Memphis Light Gas and Water. I took a break for a year. And then while I was on break, they got hooked up with Miller Pipeline in Jackson, Mississippi. They were going to get closer to home. And so I had went to work for uh, Laser Boy, a cheer, maker, a cheer company. And uh, we were on vacation for a month. And my cousin Larry said, man, I'm working with Miller. Now, won't you, uh, while you're on vacation, won't you come uh, try it out here with Miller? You'll be at home now every day. I said, okay. So I went out there working on a Ron, Ron Black from Indiana. He came down and worked in Jackson for a while. And I got there. Ron said, man, I ain't letting you go back to Mil uh, go back to uh, Laser Boy. I'm going to keep you out here with me. I said, okay. How many years ago was that? Uh, this July the fifth will be twenty three years. Wow! Congratulations, that's impressive. Yeah. Do you ever I, uh, I, do you uh, do you ever think back and think like, oh, that was the right decision not to go back to Lazy Boy? Oh yeah, because I I think back all the time. I swear, I make I'm making way good money, and I said I wanted my kids to have something more than I had mm. growing up. And that was one of the biggest reasons for me staying as long. Hey, I got them through school. Someone <laughs> went to college. And shoot, they happy with me and I'm happy with them. <laughs> and I'm happy with this job coming through. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. You did your job, right? As a parent. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, well, let's talk about your current role as a foreman. Um, what are Can you just walk through some of the daily tasks that you kind of go through? I know your role is kind of unique. They look to you and your experience a lot to kind of train other foremen. So what does what your role kind of look like on a daily basis? They really don't want me. If I get out, I'm going to go to work. And they want me to just sit back and observe people and you know make sure they're doing the job the way Atmos wants us to do it. Right. And like all the foremen that I'm trained, they have any problem, they'll call me and I'll I tell this guy, so you're gonna have to hold it down till I run over here and check this guy out. You know, I, I stay on the go. Mm. Wherever they want me to go to and you know, see other people. And a lot of time I might get caught like yesterday I got called to go do a four inch tap in North Mississippi. And I told him, he said, Well, I'm gonna get the gas company to do it. So I can look for calls like that anytime, you know. People need me to come to go do this right here and help a crew out. You know, you've seen a lot of foremen, you've been a foreman for a while. What are some skills or characteristics, either the inherent or or learned, that you feel make a good leader out in the field? Hands on. Mm. <laughs> if you know, if, if you come out there, if you really don't know what's, what's going on, you ain't never did this kind of work. I tell a lot of guys that come out here and work with me, it's all right to ask questions, but it's very by looking and learning that way. And then you ask me the question late, later when you say, why you do that way? Why you do it that way? And I can explain it better. But when I'm in there doing it, just watch me and, yes, and then you can come ask the question later. Right. Absolutely. You, you know, you mentioned that there's there is a a uh, a lot of opportunity in this industry for people who may not have a lot of experience. They can come in and learn. What's like the biggest piece of advice you have for those people that are maybe hesitant about making a career switch or, or joining something new that they don't know about. What, what's your advice to those new people? You won't never know till you try it. Mm. But uh, Miller is a good company to work for. Cause then I wouldn't have been here no 20, 23, 20 <laughs> some odd years. <laughs> no, you're going to have your up and down with every company, but sure. 
I really have got a lot out of coming here and working for Miller. And I've seen a lot of people come, a lot of superintendents come and go. But like Ron Black took me on his back when I first come. He wasn't going to let me go nowhere else. What, uh, what's made you such a good teacher, such a good guiding force for a lot of those people? I, I guess it's my character, the way I carry myself. A lot of times when I come to work, I always tell them, I say, it's all right to laugh and joke around, but when you come out here, you take it serious with me. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my best I can while I'm training you. Well, we have a, a concept here called uh what do you live for? It just keeps everybody safe, reminds everybody that we want to get home safely. So so Terry, what do you live for? What keeps you going? Um going home to my family and a Enjoying the weekend with them because I'm I'm only there on the weekend. <laughs> what uh, what do you what, what's your family like and what do you like to do with your family? Uh, like when I come home, my family like to come over. My grandboys do. They like to come over and ride at four wheel and side by side, and we go uh, riding, cruising, and stuff like that right there. And grilling, okay. they come over. I'm gonna cook for them when they come. But then we're gonna get on the side by side, four wheel and ride. All right, so the one of the final things we do here is kind of a this or that question. I throw some rapid fire at you. You just pick between uh, the options. Does that sound okay? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so this one's kind of a this, this, or that. Hunting, fishing, or golf? Fishing. Fishing. New tools or day off? I would like new tools. <laughs> that new tool smell, right? <laughs> yeah. Be the smartest person in the world or the richest person in the world? I'd rather be the smartest. I ain't got to have all the money. Yeah. The money will come with the smarts, right? Money, because yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> and then, because it's April, we're showing this in April, are you playing the April Fool's prank, or are you getting pranked? I like to get the crank. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a good victim. I want to see what somebody going to throw at me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Keep you on your toes, right, Terry? Yeah. <laughs> and then, finally, what's your favorite core value? Uh, quality because I, I want to make sure everything is done right and make sure the gas company and the customer is satisfied with my work and they yard and so absolutely that's a great one well Terry thank you so much he's a man of quality he's a foreman for Mississippi we appreciate you coming on Faces in the Field alright thank you well thank you for watching this has been Faces in the Field make sure you head to uh, if you want to join Terry's crew you head to millerpipelinecareers.com fill out the application and uh, join and learn under Terry you can also follow us on social media and uh, of course be sure to visit the Miller Pipeline store for all of your gear you want to wear the uh, the newest uh, Miller Pipeline gear that's where you can find it we appreciate you watching this has been Facing the Field we'll see you next month 